Now, video footage of the killing of uh, Hardeep Singh Nijar, a designated terrorist in India, has emerged online, revealing a contract killing carried out by armed men, as per reports by uh, Canada based CBC News. Now, the incident took place on uh, June 18, 2023, in Surrey, in British Columbia when the Khalistani terrorist was shot and killed outside a Gurudwara. Now you can see the video. It has been obtained by the fifth state and verified by multiple sources. It showcases a coordinated attack involving six men and two vehicles as well. The video uh, captures Nijar leaving the Gurudwara's parking lot in his grey Dodge Ram pickup truck. As he approaches the exit, a white sedan blocks his path and two men quickly approach and shoot him before fleeing in a silver Toyota Camry. You can see those visuals on your screens at the moment you can see we've treated them so you can see uh, frame by frame what is taking place this is a cctv footage that has uh, been obtained by a canadian based news agency cbc news you can see the black truck it is uh, the khalistani terrorist nijar's vehicle the white car is the killer's vehicle of course they're stating that this is a contract killing that has taken place and this, of course, uh, you can see two killers are coming up from behind. The white car stops ahead of his car. Shots are fired. Assailants then flee the scene. Of course, a whole uh, storm and a diplomatic row had erupted uh, when uh, Prime Minister Trudeau had pointed fingers at India shortly after his uh, G20 visit, um, where, of course, he had accused India for this but we all know for a fact that there are several gang wars that take place in uh, canada between these extremist groups terrorist groups as well joining us on the broadcast this morning to discuss more is mr surendra singh lali international affairs expert good morning sir and thank you for joining us on news x a new video footage has uh, emerged regarding a khalistani terrorist uh, nijar's death it seems and there are reports coming in that it was contract killing. Now, uh, Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, has repeatedly pointed fingers at India. He had raked up a whole diplomatic uh, storm as well. Uh, and now video footage has emerged. We all know of the gang wars that take place between Khalistani goons in uh, Canada, particularly in Surrey, in British Columbia as well. So what did you make uh, of all of uh, these developments? especially the footage released by the uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Uh, thank you, Pia, and a very good morning to you and all the viewers. And uh, honestly, uh, I find it a bit hilarious. It takes the Canadians nine months after the, you know, the, the statement by Mr. Trudeau in Parliament. It takes nine months for them just to release a parking lot video. I mean, every parking lot in the world has... Uh, has CCTV cameras, so I don't see there is much in it. I think it's a very selective leak that they are making. First, they did through the Financial Times, uh, which further pressurized Trudeau to bring it into Parliament to save his own skin and his dwindling political career. And, uh, you know, so much of the world, credible allegations. I think it's a narrative they've been wanting to keep in the news because, uh, you know, they've not been able to do much uh, in the last nine months and as you rightly said this could be a part of a gangland war which happens in canada especially amongst the punjabis you know every fortnight because they're all involved in such nefarious activities uh Pia, i look at it from a different point of view because i think this also has to do with the new stand the new indian government the way we deal our nimble and deft foreign minister and the modi government's policy on our strategic economy autonomy and, uh, you know, I think the Americans are disturbed because we disturbed their apple cart in Ukraine by buying oil. You know, as the ministers were on record saying that, you know, for us, we don't want to inherit part of your post-Cold War allied world. We are going to worry about our 1.4 billion people and not inherit their problems that they've, uh, you know, inherited and they wanted India to toe the line. You know, they've been wanting us to become an ally, and that is something which we are on record saying that we will not become an ally. So these, for me, are just pressure tactics. 
And you know what? What really sometimes amazes me is that, be it be the Niger or the Pernu controversy. I mean, America and Canada are involved in trying to corner India over a plumber who was seen brandishing an AK-47, such as assault rifles, which are illegal. I have great respect and regard for dignity of labor, especially in Sikh religion. But how many plumbers are responsible in demolishing, if not disveiling, a relationship between America and Canada to, you know, fellow democracies who are English speaking? So maybe, you know, this is this is absolutely my my submission that maybe it's the five eyes instead of snooping on, you know, dictatorships, they are keeping a check on intelligence with fellow demo- democracies, and these selective leaks, they, they tend to, you know, induce into media so that they can try and corner India. I mean, I don't know, maybe because the Russian foreign minister was on record appreciating our foreign minister and how, you know, we dealt with a clarified mind in terms of our strategic interest in autonomy first on record. I mean, the Russian foreign minister was on record just in you know, a few days ago. So I think it's it's these things that makes uh, you know Canada and America insecure. And then I'm sorry to be saying, and the CIA gets involved and you know making these selective leaks through proxy people where they want to corner India. So end of the day, briefing it up, I don't think to me it proves nothing because there are 20,000 videos on the net where you see people driving up in the parking lot in America, in Canada, and everywhere in the world where there is one individual shooting another. Yes, the law has to prevail on it, but to me, as an Indian citizen, it means nothing. Sir, you stated that these are, in your opinion, selected leaks trying to corner India. But do you think uh, Trudeau is also trying to garner uh, some sort of... uh, uh, He's trying to save his reputation and his image domestically in Canada as well, which has, to a considerable extent, been uh, tarnished by allegations of uh, Chinese interference in uh, the Canadian elections last time round. Elections in Canada are to take place in a year and a half And uh, the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, which is a government agency, had also, in fact, made these claims of Chinese interference. So do you think these selective leaks that are being made are uh, deliberate and also an attempt by Trudeau to save face within uh, Canada by deflecting uh, from uh, those allegations? Absolutely agree with you, Pierre, because, uh, you know, let me just add, I don't think he has a reputation to save. It's all gone down the drain because if you see the way Chinese uh, president dealt with him on record in video in the G20 before that, I mean, he was talking to Trudeau as if it's some kind of a, you know, principal of a kindergarten school reprimanding a four-year-old child. I mean, the involvement of the Chinese in the, in the, in the Canadian elections, I mean, virtually making their own police stations. So I don't think they have, uh, you know, the, the gut to deal with China, so simply because he wants to evade his failed political career, pretty much like his father was, you know, failure too, and he was also pretty much in bed, you know, with the federal Castro. So I think absolutely I agree because, you know, he's trying to use India and there is no, I mean, there is no secret that he is in bed with Jagmeet Singh too because it's his party that is supporting and he gets a lot of his funding from these K elements, I don't even like to use the word, from these K elements who have nothing to do with India and the Indian Sikhs. So I think he is beholden to the Jagmeet Singh. He is he doesn't have a choice but to find these kind of foolish narratives that he wants to spin because I think he knows that he's gonna lose his election and really badly. Why? Because at the end of the day, what he's doing, he's creating a mess on his own soil. He's doing the same thing that Pakistan did. I mean, Hillary Clinton was on record saying that, you know, you get snakes in your backyard, they're going to bite you. So all these mm-hmm. key element people are involved in all sorts of nefarious activities from drug, you know, to prostitution, to immigration scams. So I think he's playing with the future of his own people. And, you know, I hope Lord prevails since on him because he's taking Canada the way Pakistan went down. And that could be a great free case study for Trudeau to learn from. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.